Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jimmy. I'm with Tropicana Golf, and this is an emergency video. Yesterday, I made a video about the importance of the swing and the ease of the swing. I received about 45 comments asking me, what do you feel at impact? And what I responded to them was absolutely mind-blowing because it made me realize what I feel at the most important position in golf. Stick around, I'm gonna share it with you so that you can get to that position. Okay, so it was, it was across the board. Jimmy, what do you feel at impact? How do I get that perfect impact position? You ready for this? What I feel at impact. I have no idea. I have no clue because I don't focus on impact. If you are focusing on impact, that means all your energy that you are taking during the golf swing is just stopping here because that's where you're focused. It's the same thing as if I were to tell a boxer, I want you to feel this at impact. Okay, so you get here and then, <clears throat> well, that's not a good punch. This is a good punch. There should be no feeling at impact. Impact should just be a result of a good swing. If you focus on one dynamic of the swing, of any position, it's not going to work out. Think about that. If you think about one specific position, your whole goal is going to be to get to that position. Your mind, your body, it's going to focus on that one position. And from there, you can't do anything. You have to think of the golf swing as a whole. There is no acceleration. There is no deceleration. It's just a back and forth movement that doesn't ever end. It will end eventually because your body will stop it, but you don't want to stop it or focus on one thing during the swing. And that should be even easier than focusing on a position because now you're thinking about less. You're just thinking about swinging and going. Imagine that. Now you don't have to focus on the intricacies of it. There are different positions. I'm not disagreeing with that, but I think that if you and myself, focus on one of those positions, it's a disaster for everything else. So when you play next or when you hit balls next, I want you to focus on the complete swing. Do not try to hit the ball. It is a golf swing, not a golf hit. If you focus on hitting well, that's why you're over the top and slicing in the whole bit because you're focused on hitting an object. If there's no object there and you swing, it's a great swing because you're not focusing on an object. Now, like I always do, I'm going to play a couple holes and I'm going to show you what I think and what I feel and show you that it works. So we're going to start here. This is a Long par five. Now, it's a dog leg left. My ability to hit a driver and draw it, I don't want to do that. I'd rather just hit an iron and hit it to the fairway and then go and hit it again. So, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to play this. And I want you to focus on the non-hitting of the ball. I'm just swinging a golf club. I'm just swinging a golf club and the ball gets in the way. That's it. Don't think of anything else. So what do I do? I take a practice swing and then I step up and I do it again. There just happens to be a ball there. Ready? Good. That's great. It's on the right side, nothing wrong with that. 
the hole goes left, so you want to be on that side. Probably should have explained that. The dog leg left, you want to be on the right side so you have a good angle. So I aimed at the palm trees, and I hit it six feet right of the palm trees. So let's go. Let's do it again. We're going to drive down there. We're going to find our ball. We're going to play it. And I'm going to show you how important it is to swing through the ball. Do not worry about impact. Just swing. Swing. Don't um, brace for impact. That's what a lot of people do. They get so worried about that position that they start slowing down or accelerating either one. Some people slow down and brace for con impact like, like that. Or some people speed up for impact. You can't do either. You have to just keep it going the same speed. Um, are we having issues here finding my ball? Oh, there it is. Wow, it's on the cart path. I hammered it. Look at it. So that went really far. Now, here's the scenario. We have a dog. Take it easy. Okay, there's the ball. Now I can go on this side and I have these trees. Or I can go on this side and I have that tree. What makes more sense to you? Well, to me, <laughs> obviously. Actually, look, I can drop it right there and have a clean shot. So let's do that. So we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna drop right here. Boom. Ball is dropped, ball is in play. I will be hitting my second shot. Now I have a long way to go. So I'm gonna take that same club, that same three iron, and I'm gonna hit a shot, hopefully, hopefully, like down in here. Just a little low punch, punchy something. Now, just because the swing is abbreviated, because this is a punch shot, does not mean that I slow down or do anything different. I just hit just through the ball, through the ball, not at the ball. So through, I'm just swinging, boom, and through. The ball is just there. It's just there. That's great. That thing runs down. That thing's going to go 170 yards. Never got more than three feet off the ground. Why? Because I'm not racing for impact. I'm just swinging. I want you to try this. I really, really do think it's gonna help you. Everybody's so worried about the positions. And when you worry about a position, that's all you focus on. That's what your mind and your body are thinking. I have to do this task. You're giving it a task. And the golf swing is not one task. It's a series of tasks that need to be completed all together in order for it to work. Okay, here's my ball. I'm 100 and there's the 150. So I'm a little less than that. The pin's in the front. So what do I have? 140? Let's call it 140. Now it's cold. It's morning. I'm not fully warmed up. I'm going to hit a pitching wedge and if I leave it short I'm okay with that the pin is in the front so listen to this ready the pin is in the front I don't want to go use my finger there uh, I don't want to go past the flag so I take a club that if I hit it well will get to the green get to the flag but no no further and if I hit it, whatever, it's short of it. I don't want to go past it. So it's like having a limit on your credit card. $5,000. You can't go past $5,000. So I'm going to spend the $5,000, and I know I can't go past it. So I take a regular swing. Remember, no bracing for impact. Just hit the ball. Just hit the ball. There's no ball there. There's no ball here. 
There's no ball here. I'm just hitting. I'm just swinging. Boys and girls, please pay attention to this. I need you to realize that. Um, that was not a very good field job. I need you to realize that it is of utmost importance that you put a swing on a ball that is not for the intention of hitting the ball. Is that weird? Practice swings are so good, so good. And the swing you use to hit the ball, not so good, because you are hitting the ball. Get that phrase and that notion out of your mind. Do not hit the ball, swing the club. Write that down, write that down, put it on a piece of paper, Stick it in your pocket, and when you're playing this weekend, or this week, look at it. Say, do not hit the ball. Swing the club. That is mind-blowing. Look at my ball. Six-footer uphill for birdie. Six-footer uphill for birdie. Never hit the ball. Just swing the club. All right. Now, how do we address this? Is this the same? Is putting the same? Do I hit the ball? Nope. You don't. You don't hit the ball. Always fix your pitch marks. Um, you don't hit the ball. You don't hit the ball anywhere. It's called hitting the ball. But it's a swinging motion. Swinging motion that where something just gets in the way. If you are hitting a flagstick, or a rake, or a box, you're just swinging and there's an object in the way. Put that in your mind. Put that in your mind. All right, what do we have? Eight, 10, 12 feet, something like that, uphill. Left to right, this is a birdie putt. The only thing I don't want to do, the only thing I don't want to do, hit it past the ball. I don't care if I don't make birdie. I want to make sure I don't make birdie. That's it. Okay? Right to left, up to left, up in, boom, up out. Make sure I don't hit it past the hole. Make sure I don't hit it past the hole. I didn't make birdie. I have a tap in par. Now, the ball goes up here. The ball goes right there. Now I have a downhill putt that's going to break for par. Do you know how tempting that is to like, oh, I'm going to play the break. Oh, I got to make sure I don't hit it hard. Damn. Oh my God, I missed it. I, I, I tried to make that. I tried to make that and I missed it. You see what I mean? So this putt, anybody can make this putt. It's just straight up the hill. So, I know you want to make birdies. I love making birdies. I hate making double bogeys. Bogeys are all right. I hate making double bogeys. So, get yourself to a position where you have tap-ins. And if that means missing a birdie, I know a lot of you are like, I want to score. Come on, man. Everybody wants to score. But, not at the cost of high risk, okay? So this was just an emergency video that I thought you needed to see. I'm gonna break it down for you one more time as to what I think and what I feel. Let me see how the lighting is here. Not great, but we're gonna try something here. I want you to envision this next time you're out. This is a golf club. There can be any object here. I want you to swing the club and pretend it's not there. That's it. Swing the golf club and pretend there's nothing there. Swing the golf club and pretend
pretend there's nothing there. I guarantee you your ball striking is going to improve. Well, as weird as it seems, when you're not focused on an individual task in a big series of events, it's going to work out better for you. Like always, thank you for watching, and I hope this helps. See ya.